Now, the Basic Education Department has outlined its proposed plan to reopen schools. This could see grade twos return to their desks on the 6th of May. The Federation of Governing Bodies of South African Schools says parents need to be reassured that it will be safe for their children to go back. Let's talk to FEDSA CEO Paul Kolditz. Paul, of course, uh, officials are mainly looking at the grade 7 and grade 12 learners um, and, you know, the kind of systematic effect that that would have if they weren't able to get through this year. But when you look at that plan, is it watertight? Uh, good evening, Kathy. No, indeed, it's not watertight. It's not a. It's not a, It may be a plan at this stage, but it's not the plan. Uh, the suggestion that grades 12 and grade 7 will return to schools on the 6th of May has been raised, but it has not been confirmed, nor has it been officially announced by the minister. And we believe that it would be impossible for learners to return to schools next week uh, because we're not quite sure that the provinces are ready. Uh, the sanitation equipment has not been delivered to schools. There's been no planning at grassroots level mm -hmm. because um, the uh, schools have not been in a position to plan. There's also... Uh, um, um, standard operational practices that are being developed by the Department of Education. These have not been shared with the schools. In fact, they've not been finalized yet. Mm. So before uh, these standard operating procedures are not provided to all schools uh, and all role players at the schools will know exactly what is required of them, schools won't be able to reopen. Of course, one of the things that we saw the Portfolio Committee raising tonight, uh, today rather in Parliament was the issue of capacity, that this plan requires a lot of collaboration across departments, also a lot of personnel. It didn't sound like um, the department knew exactly where it was going to find these officials who are perhaps going to do the testing of uh, the children every day, who are going to do the sanitizing. How big a concern is it? Because it it doesn't sound like the kind of thing one can put in place in the space of a week, really. No, definitely not. No, definitely not. We've been told that um, in consultations we've had with the Department of Basic Education and the Minister, that uh, health officials will be conducting the testing and screening at schools. But they need to be identified, they need to be trained, they need to be screened themselves and that's just one part of the exercise. The other part of the exercise is to have the necessary equipment and materials delivered to schools. That can't take place within even a week's time. It's going to take time. Uh, we know for a fact that some provinces have not yet received the equipment and uh, sanitation packages themselves. Uh, one province told us they are only expecting it on the 12th of May, so there's no way that schools will be able to reopen on the 6th of May, and we cannot afford to send our children back to schools and the teachers and other staff into schools if we cannot guarantee parents and the, uh, teachers that everything humanly possible has been done to ensure their well-being and safety. All of these issues are, of course, important in terms of protecting uh, the learners who will be in school. But, of course, there's also the question around the extent to which this academic year can be saved. And the department is clear that it, it certainly wants to be able to do that. So what are the interventions that they need to be, be putting in place to ensure that that happens, regardless of the delays that they may experience with being able to get children back into the classroom? Well, the first important statement we must make, uh, Kathy, is that we're not slaves of a curriculum. The curriculum serves a particular purpose, yes. But uh, there is much that can be done in terms of trimming the uh, curriculum, uh, except for the metrics, the grade 12s. They'll have to complete the entire curriculum, and it's possible. It's possible if the exams is... Um, uh, will take place a little later during the year, and, and th those plans have already been made. 
um, and we believe that it will be successful to expose the, the grade 12s to the entire curriculum if the exams are written towards the end of November and uh, middle December, finishing middle December. For the rest, um, the curriculum can be trimmed without removing the essential building blocks for the next year's curriculum. And uh, what we've said to the minister is trust your professionals, trust the teachers, that they will do what is in the best interest of children. They will do the best they can to make sure that the children are prepared and ready to face a new curriculum in the next year. All right, Paul, let's leave, leave it there for tonight. Paul Kolditz of the Federation of Governing Bodies of South African Schools.